Uh, hello everyone. Today we'll be solving problem number 1.6 from the introduction to electrodynamics by David J. Griffiths. So the problem statement is as follows. Prove that A cross B cross C plus B cross C cross A plus C cross A cross B equals 0. So how do we go about solving this? Uh, this is a very straightforward simple problem which is based on uh, a vector triple product identity. So what's the identity? So the identity goes like this. It says a cross bracket open b cross c a can be written as vector a dotted with vector c multiply it with vector b minus vector a dotted with b and multiplied with vector c now what is this so this is basically a vector identity right a vector identity is something that is true irrespective of what the individual vectors are so it's this is going to be true for any vector a any vector b any vector c it doesn't have there's no fixed right so that's what makes it an identity now how do i use it in this context let's see okay so i know that this is right so let's go about writing all all of them as shown above so we know that this we know that this is written down here now let's go and write the next part okay let's call this two and let's call this three so this is one now two b cross bracket open c cross a can be written as b dot a with c minus b dot c with respect to a similarly i can write for the third part c cross a cross b so what is this going to become so that's going to become c dot b with a minus c dot a multiplied with b all right so let's say now we have a b and c all that we have to do is basically add up one two and three so adding all these three basically makes sure we have the lhs from the question right so this forms the lhs now similarly we add up the right side let's see how does that turn out so it turns out let's say okay so what we see here is the dot product whether it is a dot c or c dot a they are the same so it doesn't really matter right dot product is not going to change because of the position of the vector so we can cancel these out similarly uh, b dot a dot c this and this gets cancelled out and similarly this and this get cancelled down so on the right hand side we have a big zero because pretty much everything cancels out but on the left hand side we have the problem statement so we have proved that a cross b cross c plus b cross c cross a plus c 
cross A cross B is equal to 0 using the above identity. Thank you.